Huh? Ah, uh-huh, hi, mijo. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, and you? How's everything over there? Everything is great. Now it's even better. I can. It's like I mean, a ritual. It feels like a ritual every yes. year after each project. We always have this, like you know, Zoom meeting, which feels great. Yes. On Lucy, I miss you. Oh, me too, my friend. <laughs> Finally, the shooting is over. How do yes. you feel? Yes, it's it's done. Uh, one 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 season project. Yeah, twenty six episodes in Turkey. It was tiring, but worth of it. With an amazing team. Let's let's start with with Zach. Um, your character, Umut, yep. uh, is looking for justice. What made you What made you say yes for, to him? What Sorry? made you say yes for this oh. character for this project? Just like you said, because of his like search for the justice, mm-hmm. and so like the the script was something like. Uh, let's say like for the first time i get such a script mm-hmm. he was like i mean he he's really like uh, he, he was like uh, he's a fighter for the justice and his name was like hope it's umut it's called umut in turkish which means hope mm-hmm. so it was like a hope for the justice and that was the like i mean that was enough to say yes for like that project because you never like i mean you you don't get such projects open also the script which is like which is called trap mm-hmm. so it was really like the also like the one of the characteristics was the what makes what, like what made me cho- like what made me choose the character in the script he uses not physical force but um his mind his brain skills so it's more like a soft power ah. so he has like two personality one is dirty lawyer which he which he traps the you know like injustice kind of like i mean the rich people and he takes revenge and he looks for like you know he fights for justice using his skills i always uh give a quote from picasso Mm -hmm. the system like a pro and break them like an artist so umut was that guy like i mean he was the picasso for the justice (laughs) I love it, like like a Robin Hood or something like that. (laughs) Kind of, kind of, let's say. But the reason was he was basically like, I mean, trying to get the justice for his family, especially for his father. Yes, of course. That was his like, let's say, emotional motivation. But it was for the all, like, it was for the humanity. Yes. Yes, and it's also something that could happen anywhere. Because even in the United States, where the where the legal system is so strong we we see those things we we see cases Definitely. like very unfair justice is universal mm-hmm. hope is universal and getting trapped while you're like trying to like you know building a trap is universal that's also like one case like what happens in our story yes. so these are all universal feelings yes. and i want to just like you know hit those feelings with this project and I love it because everybody, every, everybody's talking about that and everybody is talking about the good chemistry you have with, with your co, Benzo. co, Benzo, yeah. How, how was it? How, how was to, to be with her during all these weeks? Because that was crazy long. Definitely. But you know what? Like, uh, starting with Benzo mm-hmm. and the whole crew and the whole crew. It was like, I mean, I can say one of the best teams I've ever worked with and one of the, like, the, the most fun, definitely. That's so cool. Do you have any memorable memories of the shooting? A- any, any, well, any memory. Yeah, um, something funny, something to not forget. <laughs> well, for sure, like, there's a lot. Like we, we always, we always had a, like, we always like had fun in, in every shootings. We always had fun. Even like in the most like emotional scenes, we always found some kind of ways to have fun with the whole crew. But in the 
in the final, in the final, in the in the final scene, we we kind of like. I mean, I had a good memory, which is like, which because it's recent, I guess. Like you know, I can share it with you. There was a there was a scene, and one of my partners, uh, she's like you know, Aisha. Her character name is Aisha in my team. And now, like we are kind of in the final, in the in the last episode of our like you know series, we are building a new trap for someone else. But now Ben's also in the team, and characters Aisha, she speaks in French. Mm-hmm. So at one point, with the with the you know like I mean with the rich guy, that like you know she's like helping out, but it's all trap. But they didn't know, like, I also knew French. So I responded in French. And it was an, like, amazing scene. And it's so recent. We still, like, you know, write each other and, like, and not uh, really have fun with it. So that was pretty cool. And it's recorded. It's in the series. So you can watch it. You can, you can watch me speaking in French, which is pretty sexy. That's oh, like, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> Okay, so your French is better than your Spanish right now. We can say yes, because I also like, yes, in the, in the high school, I studied French. That's why I'm a little bit familiar with like French words and they are pretty similar, but Spanish, no, nah, it's my bad. It's my bad. Again, 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 I'm, I'm shame on me. Shame on me. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, I, I know in French, merci, ça va très bien, ça va très mal, comme ça, ça. Uh, petit déjeuner. That's all. I forgot. Okay. The rest. Yes. The way oh. you say it, it's it's always cool. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je right? t'aime. Yeah. Je t'aime, baby. Oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> Akin, uh, talking something uh, more serious. Um, three months ago, Syria and yes. Turkey was hit for two huge uh, earthquakes. How did you leave those moments? Because uh, I, I just I can't imagine something like that. Yeah, it's um, like we we lost um, officially, officially like uh, 50,000 people. Mm-hmm. And um, literally like we lost 50,000 people and we lost cities. Mm-hmm. Um Hatay is one of them. It's like a ghost city right now. Um, it's we kind of like I mean it's we it feels like we lost the city, the whole city. And with the memories, like everything is like hometown for many people. Um it's gonna take a lot of time to recover, to heal those wounds. Um even when we start like talking about it, it hits me like um, because I woke up and I woke up into the news. We heard, OK, like um, there was a big earthquake mm-hmm. when we are like trying to understand what's happening. The second one hit. And on the TV, we saw like the whole buildings like collapsed and all that stuff. Um, earthquakes happen. And. We are like, when we look at our like map, geographically, we are like in the earthquake zone. Mm-hmm. It's all, all Turkey is almost red. It's, we are in, we are living in big danger of earthquake. Mm-hmm. What I criticize, we had big earthquake in 1999. That was a big one. Also, we lost many people. It was a big disaster. Um, we didn't take, the lessons, lessons we had to take from that earthquake, and we were not ready when it hit us. Mm-hmm. I understand it's two big earthquakes, like 7.2, 7.4 um, consecutively. It's so hard to tackle with, but it might not, like, you know, turn into disaster. Yes. We if need we, codes, if we, if we, construction codes. We were and... ready, if we, mm-hmm. exactly, if we took lessons. So I, I'm kind of like, I'm also like angry a little bit. Um, not a little bit, but I'm, I'm pretty like, you know, angry. Uh, because like, it's the management problem at one point. Earthquake is a, is a, that's what nature does. We know that. 
but we have technology, we have uh, mathematics, we have engineering to live with it. But um, then it seems we didn't build the buildings properly. We didn't like, you know, build the civilization properly. Mm -hmm. And there's a big, by the way, there's a big fear. Um, the big uh, one, like a uh, pretty big earthquake is coming to Istanbul, Marmara, that uh, zone. And I live here, my family lives here. And um, so hopefully for the next one, we're going to get ready. It okay. seems a little bit hard, but hopefully for the next one, uh, we will get ready. And um, we won't have to live the, the same trauma, yes. same pain. Yeah, um, and too many laws. So, no, yeah. 50,000, like um, the official numbers, but the, it's not limited to 50,000. I have friends lost their like family. She lost like uh, her mother, like uh, father's siblings. And so it's not only limited to like 50,000. It's, yes. it's more than this. No, no. Um, people who has to start from and, zero, uh, you know, grieving somebody lost. It, it's, and it's there is, to there is no that. excuse for the next one. And also not there is no excuse for the, this one. Because no. it was not the destiny. No. You know? Yeah. You can't say like it was a destiny. Yeah, the well, an earthquake happens, but uh, how it turned into disaster, that's something like, you know, we got to uh, criticize and we got a question for. Yes, uh, and we need to to keep asking questions Definitely. to the people responsible for, for that. Uh, it, when, when things like that uh, happen, uh, we start thinking about other priorities in our life. Um, because make us realize uh, that life is too short. Uh, how these uh, earthquakes uh, change you or hit you inside uh, that made you change something? Yeah, but you, yeah, like I mean, you mean um, the kind of like uh, philosophically, like yes, uh, when you start feeling a okay. lot of life lessons. Yes. Yeah, you, you uh, it, 